Hello, welcome to Simplosion, the show that begins with X and doesn't. I will fortune to each and every one of you, and I feel you're getting better with each passing day. Hello, and welcome back to Simplosion. You may be wondering what this show is about. I was this morning, so I thought I'd spend a little time just telling you. It's mainly a diary of my own personal explorations of myself as my consciousness changes during this time of rapid change on the planet. But it's also a how-to on how to make videos. Because I, I don't know how to make videos, I'm just learning how to make videos. And I've got uh, some junk put together. I've got a camera, a nice Sony camera that's broken. It, the tape transport doesn't work, but the camera part streams very well through Firewire. I've got a used computer that I bought for $30 at a computer store here in Victoria. And I've got Ubuntu Studio with KD and Live for the editing. That's what I'm recording this on right now. And I've got um, a $20 microphone here that I bought that works pretty well. So I want to show how to make this. I'm setting up a site. I'll put the URL up eventually. And I want to help people who want to know how to make videos. And hopefully I will uh, <laughs> improve the quality of this show over time and you won't just see a funny looking guy in a hat in front of a primitive green screen but we'll actually see some interesting things from the video standpoint. The filter of the subjects that I'm going to be looking at I've read some things lately because of my own participation in community television here in Victoria uh, about consciousness primarily that have affected me in a very deep way and they form the basis of this show. So I want to look at the world through a different filter. The first one is a quote from Confucius. Signs and symbols rule the world, not rules and law. I think that's incredibly important. I think that a lot of the things around us control us every day without a, us even realizing it. Things like as innocuous as Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and Adam and Eve, all these things control us without us even being aware. But that's what my, where my consciousness is going, understanding the things that control me. And then the other one that I'd like to bring out is a quote uh, that Dennis McKenna said in, a, in an interview. You monkeys only think you're running things. You don't think we would really allow this to happen, do you? This is Dennis McKenna quoting the planetary biosphere during an ayahuasca trip in the Amazon and he was fretting and very upset that we as mankind were are destroying the Amazon rainforest and uh, he's he was expressing his frustration and inability to do anything about it so I, I want to look at the world as if we don't run it that that we do not own this planet but rather we are simply inhabitants of this biosphere and somebody else is actually running things and I want to look at the at the evidence in our day-to-day -day lives of how we can see the world in a different way and notice that that may be so that may be the the real story along with that I want to concentrate on my on our developing body intelligence because it's something that I noticed that in my own life has been taken away from me the ability to notice what my body is saying to me I want to tell it to shut up I use the example of if it's if I eat something that doesn't agree with me I'll throw a tums at it that's what it says to do on TV so that's what we do we tell it to shut up instead of listening to it what is it really trying to say here about this thing that I just ate and I think that we can all pay attention more to our feelings and it will change the way we think about the world around us because we tend to overanalyze everything and live in our heads and our current technology certainly has helped us to stay in our heads. So I want to look at that. I want to look at the technology that's around us that we see are seemingly oblivious to. Things like junk DNA. We label it so that we our consciousness thinks that it's useless, but in fact we're finding out that the shamans actually knew about this DNA and that they were able to incorporate it into their worldview and the way that they coexisted with other plants and animals on this planet. So I want to talk about that, the technology that we ignore and are destroying to our own detriment. So that's just a general overview of where I want to go to this with this show. I welcome your comments. I welcome any ideas that you have, anything you want to talk about. Please just leave comments uh, below in the, in the uh, YouTube channel. You could also make your own videos and send them back to me if you want. And I will, as I say, I will be setting up a site. I already have set it up, but I'm changing the URL so that this information on how to make a show, how to do these different things inexpensively with um, little or no money and just effort and ingenuity, 
It's all there. It's available to us. It's only going to get better as our technology improves. We're going to be able to use this to express ourselves and show what we think is important as individuals. Thanks for watching.